Hey guys, it's Cecilia. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber. This video, we're going to be talking about planner covers, more specifically covers for the Hobonichi weeks. I have here a couple of brands, all of them I really love and I'm very happy to share and to answer questions and to show you in detail. Um, there are different aspects of them from various ranges of price and uh, material designs and all that. So I'm probably not going to be able to cover it all. So please uh, leave me a message down below um, here or on Instagram if you follow me there. If you have any specific detail that you would like me to uh, share with you or show you or, you know, anything you might want to know about the covers. Uh, okay, so just to give you an overview of that, we have here my newest cover, just from Bougie Planner, and I am so excited because it's gorgeous. I have here my little collection of Sojourner that I absolutely love, all of them. I have here a small collection of Julio's. I have my first cover ever, the Orostel, and I have here my first zip cover from Hobonichi. So I'm gonna talk about all of them, so the first cover that I got is this one from Orostel and it's called the Sicily cover. And I think what is nice about it is that your planner is really well protected. And if you want it, they did have some strings that you could use this as a purse. Not really what I was into, so I never really bought the straps, but uh, you could do that. And I love that there were so much space. You know, you have a zipper here, you have all the card slots and this pocket that I was in fact putting some like magnetic um, pin just to decorate. There is a big pocket here. There in fact another two strings that I removed because I really never use those strings, but you can use it also as it in the TN uh, set. There's another pocket here. You have this uh, clasp that in fact is adjustable. You can either use it to be a little shorter or a little longer, which I think it's great about Orostolo, they have that. Uh, here there's a pen loop that has an elastic and on the back you have still another pocket. So this was my first cover back in 2019 and I was using this cover a couple weeks ago because I was taking my Hobonichi weeks to work. I know I say sometimes I don't take it because I have a work planner, which is my A6, but I don't know, man. I have my entire life in my Hobonichi weeks and sometimes I just want to have it all the time with me. And I felt like this cover would survive well inside my bag. And it really did. Like, you can really tell that this cover is two years old. I don't know if they still carry all the colors because this is an old model. She didn't really release new ones. But from time to time, there will be like oops versions or, you know, some old ones that were found in a warehouse or so. Uh, so I'm sure that there's not all the, all the colors in there, but there were still some available on the website if you check it out. So yeah, this was the first one. It was the Sicily and I still love it very much. And after the Sicily, I got my first Giulio and I bought this one new from the Giulio Forenzi website. I think I sold a bunch of uh, Villa Beautiful pens and I paid off this cover because this cover is more expensive. I think this cover is now a bit more than one year old, one years old. Yeah. So there is this pocket here. As you can see, I have a lot of dot stickers that why are they here? I could transfer them and actually use them. There are all these card slots in here. There is another big pocket here, another one. In fact, I always like put the two uh, like covers of my planners in. I don't, I, I mean, with this one, that is the sneaker, I do this. Uh, here there's a zip thing that I didn't use, but hey, look, I just found some stickers. Uh, there is this thing here that I also like never use or I put some stickers in here. And one thing that I love about the Julio cover is that you get a back pocket. There is this clasp that has a little button here. Boom. Very nice. So this cover, I think you can see a bit more the marks and I, I don't mind. It's really nice. And there is this dot that we commonly say, uh, does it have the dot? So it does. It's this mark here that you go with your finger to open it up. Uh, you can definitely see that this is not a new cover, okay? There is a bunch of marks already, uh, scratches in it all. And then uh, this year, I found this on Instagram. That was a lovely person, um, 
selling her cover and the cover was just perfect and you see this is the magnetic pin that i'm talking about that you could use sometimes to just give it a little thing this is from the coffee monsters go uh yeah so it's so same layout you have two bookmarks in all the Giglio appuntos so that's how they call this folio covers they call it appunto and because this is a slim cover they call this one appunto slim and again you have the pockets the zipper and it all and i absolutely love i think this is one of my favorite colors ever this is the royal blue and this is the dark brown i really love them i just change covers from time to time depending on what color i'm into so yeah julio's here and then after i was presented to the world of sojourners which are beautiful and i absolutely love this shop and the nice thing about sojourners obviously the quality uh the customer service is amazing and the customization level is also pretty good uh they have two designs for pockets so this is what they call scoop pocket and there is another pocket it's called the designer pocket which could be just like a line and diagonal line uh, i as you can see i love this scoop pocket but i think what is nice is that you can get in touch with the company and say hey could you do a combination of this color for the pocket and this color for the planner and even uh, I think they have a little bit of room for you to put the different types of pockets that they offer, which I think it's great. You can tell them to put type A or type B here on the front and another one on the back. So you have some room to have something made special for you. So this I really appreciate on this brand. They are in US, so things ship pretty quickly. Sorry, I didn't mention the Giglio. It's in Belgium. So if you go for regular shipping, it will take some time. The Aurostel is in Canada, in Vancouver, so it will be uh, fast if you are in North America, like I am, I'm in Canada. So here uh, I have different colors. The first cover that I bought from the Hobonichi Weeks was this one, the Violet. And this is um, this was a limited edition, so I'm not sure they have it. Wrong. I mean, I'm sure they don't have it right now, but maybe you can find someone to buy it from you. And I love it. This is gorgeous. It's like a dark blue, purpley uh, color, really nicely and for all the hobonichi weeks i have the same setup is this coupe pocket and inside this pocket with the card slots and it's perfect you fit your hobonichi weeks even if you have a mega because i'm using the mega and it's just amazing but it doesn't have the bookmarks so you could either use some tabs and stuff but i bought this tiny bookmarks from bankuchen and i really like it and this is what i've been using when i have like covers that don't have um, bookmarks. I would just put this one. So this is the violet. Then after the violet, I got the natural pocket with the special brown uh, front pocket. And this is inside. So inside, I think it's always natural because I think it's, it's thin enough so that you won't book your cover, but you can tell them that you want all, you know, the three uh, the three parts so the inside the main cover and the pocket in the same leather if you want so the second one was the natural with a special brown love it and then i got the teal with the natural pocket uh, i think this i got it july or so for summer and i really like it as well in fact i was surprised i love the green cover but very and uh, super beautiful i love it and then the last one is this one which is called levi which is a super dark blue it's it's kind of um black blue something like this but and it's a more of a sturdy leather so this leather is a little more structured and i really like it for a cover uh, for a folio cover or even for tn um, the violet is it's not as sturdy but thick the natural i think is one of the thinnest leathers that they have uh the special brown as well the teal is also a little bit sturdy as well so this is my Sojourner collection, absolutely in love with them. And then, um, more recently, I had uh, covers from uh, Maria from Bujo Planner uh, for another planner. And she opened, again, uh, orders. And I said, I really need a cover from my Hobo Nichi Weeks. It's the planner that I use the most. And that's why I have so many covers for them because I use it every day for, I mean, this is the third year going for the fourth. And I said, you know what? I need one of those as well. Maria also 
offers a ton of customizations, but she opens the order form from time to time when she has time, you know? And so it's not like the other shops that you can order anytime. Maria, you have to wait for her when she has time to do it, but you can customize it at all. You can get a specific size that you want, a specific uh, pocket, the color of it. You can uh, also get how it will be the inside pockets or not the colors if you want. Now she is trying out bookmarks. So this is in fact um, a project she had and I'm very happy that I got to do this little experiment with her. So if you want bookmarks, uh, you can also chat with her about that. She's still testing it out. And the back pockets as well. And I really, really like it. So this is the nude. I'm gonna take off the pen and you also can see better. This is the nude with platinum blue. And this leather is really, really smooth and it's really nice. And uh, I think it's just perfect. It's a very light cover. I decided for this one not to have the elastic just because I have the elastic in all the other ones. So I wanted to test how I would feel without the elastic. And I actually love it because her pocket is very thin and you could fit a pen here for this one. I think it could fit a pen. Well, now the planner is not here, you know. But the other leathers, because they are thicker, it, it, it wasn't that um, comfortable, I would say, to put the pen in here. And also, to be very honest, I was afraid of scratching the leather, so I wasn't doing it. You could but... put pens in here. You can even put a marker. And I think it even fits the Hobonichi pen because I think Maria has it on the pocket. So that's why I, I thought I don't really want the elastic because I don't want it to hold a pen or anything. And I, I actually like the way it looks. I think it looks like a beautiful tiny book. Yeah, so this is the the other brown that I forgot the name, sorry. But I just wanted to show how pretty it is and how the nude letter is versatile. And you can just put whatever color you want. So this is my new baby and I'm so happy to share this. And lastly, I want to talk about zip covers. Again, this is another chapter of I said I don't like it, but then I changed my mind. Nietzsche, this is a Mina Pehonen cover as you can see here from this beautiful bowl and uh what i have in here is my second weeks because you know i have a ton of hobonichi weeks but i put in here uh it fits nicely the cover if you slide in so if it fits this one it will fit also the sneaker one even the mega here it has one pen loop and it's a tiny pen loop okay so it, it won't really fit a pen inside you will have to put the clip of the pen in there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card slots. There is a zip pocket in here. There is this other pocket here and this big pocket here then. It kind of fits a lot of stuff, yeah. And uh, you just have to be careful with your bookmarks to put them in and you close it. Yeah, so this is the new tambourine and I absolutely love this cover. It's so pretty, but I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm very afraid of messing up with the stitching here, with this embroidery. It feels very sturdy, like resistant when you put your hands on it, but I'm not sure I'll be able to put this inside my bag, just saying. So because I use the second weeks, the other weeks for journaling, this basically just stays at home, but I kind of want to take it with me. I'll see, maybe one day I'll do a task and I'll let you know. But if you guys have a tambourine, not from this year, but from previous years, let me know if you put them in your bag and if the, the little dots hold it still. I'm just very curious about it. Okay, but I wanna show you the other zip cover that I got because I thought I would get the birds for the A6, but I decided not to because I saw this uh, old model on Etsy. So I decided to buy it. And uh, although the, the, you know, the insides are mustard yellow, but I kinda like it, I don't know how to explain. I think it marries well with the navy and with the blue. So basically what I have in here is my A6 for work, where I do my um, all my crazy to-do lists for work. Uh, it fits the, the weekly supplement here on this net. And in fact, in here is also an extra pocket and it has a huge back pocket. This is also very cool. So I have in here a little stencil that I use as a ruler. I have some sticky tabs, sticky notes in here. And it's, I mean, it's so nice and cute and you just zip it and close and put it in your bag. And this is like a fabric. This is what I wanna say. I keep saying tissue, tissue, sorry guys, fabric. <laughs> and it has a ton of pockets. 
uh, here there is another one I have some stickers in here and I I put both covers in just because I think it's more comfortable for me to write this way so very happy with the zip covers mm -hmm. Nice. And the last one that I want to show is not for the Hobonichi Weeks, but I have one for the Hobonichi Weeks that will come, I don't know, in three weeks or so. I can uh, show this later. This is from Kelsey, uh, and it's a beautiful uh, natural leather covers. You guys know I'm afraid of natural leathers because of the patina, the marking and it all. But I mean, this cover came to like really show me the light and the path to natural leathers i don't really mind the marks at all and i really mean it i'm not lying to you i'm totally okay this cover stays on the couch goes in my bag goes to work goes to supermarket it's really like just handling it all uh, yeah here i basically only have to do lists it's just like a little uh bullet journal or messy notes. I just put it all that I need to carry with me. It's not really a planner in itself. I don't plan in here. I just put lists and if I need the lists with me, I just take it with me. And this cover is so good. So I got this natural edge, which I think is just beautiful. So it has two uh, spots here for closure. So it has room from it to go like a little bigger. I have for now, in here, because it's a TN pocket size, I have this uh, TN monthly that I, I mean, I've been using this for months for uh, days when I don't want to carry a big book. I just carry this little thing. So obviously, because I love stickers, I have pockets with some stickers in here, mostly dot stickers and uh, emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. Just because I think they are gorgeous. Here I have some little decoration, just, you know, make me happy looking at it. And I have here moleskin pocket size in this grid because I, I love grid and I love the paper from moleskin as well. It's a thin yellowish paper. Um, yeah, perfect. And I'm not really using the cards a lot so much here. Just have this uh, card to cut washi or so. Just guys, I don't, I don't, and I don't have a ton of thing to add to it. But if you want, you can even use this guy as a wallet and put your cards here. I I keep saying that I never managed to use a planner as a wallet because I still love my wallet. That wallet that I talked about a long time ago, it's the same. Yeah, but I really love this cover and I think it's gorgeous. Handmade by Kelsey, uh, she's very talented, and I ordered a cover for the Hobonichi Weeks on this size as well. So when I get it, I'll make sure to share. So I hope you enjoy all the covers, and I know it was a lot. Uh, Kelsey is also in US, sorry, forgot to mention that. And Hobonichi is in Japan, so yeah, shipping is pretty expensive, but I got this from local shop in Toronto. Uh, so you can also sh uh, check this, you know, if there are shops that will sell this from you. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. But Again, if you have any questions, uh, just leave me a message below or uh, get in touch with me on Instagram where I share a lot more of pictures and stuff. And I'll make sure to share the information with you. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any other shops that you absolutely love, let me know. And I'm very curious to know if there is another uh, brand with nice covers for the Hobonichi Weeks or for the other planners. But I decided to talk about the Hobonichi Weeks because the collection is a bit ridiculously big. Okay, I'll see you guys next time and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.